All right, let's reset on out of here. I feel very, very nice and accomplished there. And we got ourselves... I think there's only... That was the that was the gold star in this realm. Cool. Yeah, there's just one more puzzle. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. That is in this room. Two-way street. Those are things I don't believe in. Let's see. We got... Uh, we got a bunch of stuff over here. We got our jammer. We got... Uh, the ability to prop this open. I guess it's called Two-Way Street because we have both of these little uh, bastards who want to kill me. That I do believe in. Alright, so we can jam that open. We're going to need to do some very tricky jamming here. Uh, this won't be too hard to like just dodge all the mines, but this will allow me to get the jammer out... Once I've done that, we can just grab this jammer. And we're going to have to kind of run these jammers around a little bit here. But I can open that up. I'll be able to go over and get the other jammer, which will allow me to jam the gun turret that's up there. Um, what is it with puzzle games and gun turrets, by the way? You never see those little gun turret enemies in non-puzzle games. But for some reason, here they are. I guess they're just like, uh, you know... They're just there to... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I can then jam that open and then open this up. I guess there to just be a obstacle-y enemy type thing that's not, like, uh, a character, per se? I don't think that's the right word. I can turn off the gun turrets now, though, and I think that that means that I don't need to jam... I need to jam that one, but I think that this one's turned off now, so I can take the jammer that I was using on that to hold this open and grab the key. Now we can just start my process of reversing all the way out of here. So we can jam that. We can take this guy. Um, watching bird struggle makes me feel better about my life. Well, that's good. I, uh... I, every time I stream, I put on my all my life I had to fight face ass. <laughs> Alright, let's come over here. Let's uh, temporarily maybe just jam a mine or two while I think about things. Um, that will allow me to at least open this up without uh, being worried about getting shot. We can jam that. That will allow me to open up that. And I think that just gets me the sigil. Yeah. I think I may just legitimately be getting good at this game at this point because like these puzzles no shit <laughs> these puzzles are getting a lot easier for me I have I've gotten pretty far in uh in this game at this point I mean we're in world C we're in one of the last sections of it I've unlocked the like the secret shit so I'm feeling pretty good right now I, uh, I think I have just one more section here, level 7, right? There's nothing else in World C. Um, you go over here. Yep, so everything appears to be solved except for level 7. So let's pop on over to there. And that pretty much wraps up the actual worlds. Huh. Any gold stars? Okay, we got one gold star. Here's hoping it's easy. They're never easy, but here's hoping it's My easy. My faith in you was not misplaced. You have learned much and shown great wisdom in these trials. The end of your journey lies close now. Do not falter. Do not fear. And do not give in to temptation. Wait, earlier... I read messages on the walls from a person named Emily Astor, right? Does that seem familiar? Mm -hmm. Um, I thought Emily Astor was the character in the, in this game. Uh, hang on, I have to pop back because I forgot to read plot. Um, but let me finish that thought. I thought Emily Astor was a character in this game, but they're not because they he used the same message that Keith did, Keith did, and that jogged my memory. If you've seen any messages from Emily Astor. They're a catfish. 
that I met back when I played Team Fortress 2. They did not catfish me. They catfished a friend of mine. And they were the most obvious catfish I'd ever seen. They went by the name Princess Daisy. And their avatar was just Princess Daisy. They never used voice chat or anything like that. And it was everything that came out of this person's mouth was literally like, what would a girl say? And then they would say that. And this dude just fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. So what are you going to do? You're playing Team Fortress 2, right? In that game, you can name tag your weapons in the game. So another friend and I, we commemorated their relationship by taking the rarest weapons that we owned and putting name tags on them that just said, like, Emily Astor and the other guy's name, I can't remember off the top of my head, like, forever. They weren't even furries, but that's what we did. Anyway, they're still on my friends list, apparently, and they're still going by women's names. Emily Astor is a... It's like a historic name, right? I don't know, it sounds like some Scottish queen princess probably got killed or divorced or some shit like that. Anyway, um, maybe they're still catfishing. I don't know. But they're still alive, I guess. Welcome back. I'm ready to share with you the details of my proposal. If you make it to the top of the tower, I want you to take me with you. I want you to share me with me what you find. What are you offering in return? In exchange, I offer to accompany you whenever, wherever it is you wind up. Be it this world or another, we all need a devil's advocate. A voice of reason, I offer to be yours. Aren't you playing that role already? <laughs> Consider our relationship so far the open beta. <sighs> Enjoy it while it lasts, but ascend that tower without taking out a subscription, and I'm afraid you'll be on your own. So do we have a deal? I accept. Very good. I know you'll be a reliable partner. When the time is right, you'll know what to do. See you at the summit. Humansoul.txt uh, Faith.eml Oh my god. This is so long. Okay. At least this one's an email. Uh, Straight Thoughts at Midnight. Dearest brother, I admit that I am finding it very difficult to believe in a loving God under these circumstances. Why would a loving God inflict such pain and suffering on good, kind people? If truly there is a personal God, how can he be the same God who will subject those children to such unbearable pain? I remember all the answers we were taught, yet none of them seem believable now. I don't want to stand in front of people and preach something that I don't feel in my heart. Better to have doubts than to be a hypocrite, and yet... I also cannot deny the experience that led me to this vocation. So what is the truth? Perhaps it is that I neglected the mystery of God, used he moves in mysterious ways as an excuse rather than as the terrifying acknowledgement it truly is. Perhaps I made God too human. If the universe has a purpose, that does not mean that it revolves around us. A sobering thought. But are we not supposed to be humble in the face of the divine? Thank you, dot e -N -L. Dear Alexandra, as we approach the end, I want to let you know how much I appreciate this chance to finish my work on Soma slash Talos. My faith makes a death a far less frightening, frightening prospect than it does for others. That was close enough. I know we have all died many times before, but the thought of leaving the work unfinished did weigh on me. For having released me from that burden, I will forever be thankful to you even if our attempt itself fails. Though there are trillions of worlds beyond this one, I hope we may again, we may meet again in another life. That's a really sweet message. And an incredibly, incredibly grim. <laughs> God damn, this story is really grim when you think about it. Uh, is this a sequel to Soma? I don't think so, but that's a good question. Um... Let me see. Soma. Uh, game. Who made that? 
It's almost a survival horror game developed by Frictional Games, so that was uh, that's a completely different studio than this one. Um, but yeah, I guess from what I've been able to gather, climate change basically caused like some virus to get unleashed. I assume it came out of like permafrost or something, and it caused everyone to die. And so they made um, the Talos principle as like a simulation to train a robot to... You know, I don't really know why the hell they did that. I sub They keep mentioning a library and stuff like that. And so I would assume that it's about like the robot is supposed to learn about humanity and like carry on humanity's legacy. I'm a human being. I have never, I have spent zero minutes of my life running around picking up jammers and laser connectors. So if this is what the people that made the Talos Principle think being a human being is like, then they need to just spend more time in the Talos Principle themselves learning how humans behave because this is not accurate at all. That was a really weird meta joke. God, there's no time. Just not enough time. Ugh. We're trying to build the future out of old video game code and half-finished research projects. We should have had years, maybe decades, with the kind of money they used to put into building bombs. Ugh. If I stop and think about how crazy this is, I will have a nervous breakdown. So I won't. Yeah, okay. Back to work, Alex. Oh, I sympathize with that. <laughs> this place should be cold, but I don't feel cold. It's as if I was observing everything from a distance. It's pointless. Intelligence is questioning the assumptions you're presented with. Intelligence is the ability to question existing thought constructs. If we don't make that part of the simulation, all we'll create is a really effective slave. Oh, the point of the game is to teach a robot how to rebel so that it becomes intelligent? Is that really what they're going for here? They basically create like a whole thing... Uh, and then, like, even, like, the Milton Bradley Library, my first library, <laughs> Pokedex, or whatever this robot is, he's part of the simulation, too, just to, like, trick me into, like, learning how to think for myself. Well, tell you what, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna go up to the tower, I'm gonna pee off of it, and then I'm gonna jump back and hang out in the first level again. In my own little pee pool. Nobody else is allowed in there. <laughs> Arcady Journal 108.txt Team diminishing by the day. Proud of them nevertheless. Archive now incomprehensibly huge. Still missing thousands of works impossible to truly finish. Work already commenced on a sorting program to help catalog the archive resources in our absence. But like everything else, it has its foibles. Talk to Alexandra. Talos going well. Maybe the archive's first user will be terrestrial after all. Estimate about a week. Maybe 10 days before I'm unable to keep working. Betrayal to leave early? Apocrypha 9. Doc. Oh, as soon as I see. Oh, as soon as I see a name like Uriel or anything like that, I know I am piecing the fuck out of whatever this text is gonna be. Invention of Borders. HTML. <sighs> I can't, I can't, I can't read anymore. I'm sorry. I can't bring myself to read any more um, essays while playing this game. I just can't do it. I'm so sorry to everyone who expected me to read about philosophy. They should have known a lot better. Crisscross Conundrum Advanced. Makes me think that, my god, that sounds like a Game Boy Advance game when you, when you put it that way. Um, but for whatever reason, all I can think of is like the cool borders thing. So it'd be like crisscross, hot cross buns. What the hell was this puzzle called again? I don't know. All right, so all I need to do is find some way of opening up that. And I have a recorder to do it but with. So I guess I'll probably just start by opening up this door. I don't need to really get on through to the other side here. Uh, and all I need to do is use my recorder 
to hold open this door. And I guess to do that, um, I want to have the blue laser be right here. And I think... What will I want to do? What will I want to do? What will I want to do? I'll have uh, Shadow Realm connectors set up. I'll have four connectors in total. Two of them will be Shadow Realm. Two of them will be real connectors. So, if I use... If I use uh, a connector that... Well, it's going to be on the... Uh, I kind of... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I can't go, like, back around this corner, though it would be really nice if I could. Um, I can... I can visualize in my head what I need to do, but... Um, actually... Doing it is going to be a whole nother, whole nother story. Uh, the other thing is that, oh, I don't need to maintain this red door being unlocked. Not in the long run. So, what I can do that's really, really lazy is get this open. And then I'm just going to chill out here for like a minute. For like 60 seconds. For like 60 times. Uh, 6,000 milliseconds. For like. Uh, I don't know my SI units below like Desi and Senti very well. Okay, so milli is a thousand. Then micro. Like, milli to micro is huge for whatever reason. Isn't milli like a thousandth? And then micro is like a millionth or something like that? And that's kind of why I don't ever remember what my uh, SI units are. I know the I know I'm in the other direction because I'm a huge nerd and I messed around with computers. So it's like, like, gram, decagram, centigram, um, kilogram, um... Why can't I remember anymore? Mega yeah. Megagram, that's the one. <laughs> okay, that's enough of this crap. Alright, so that's all being held open. Uh, I have access to the Shadow Realm connectees. And unfortunately, we have real connectees that are in the way. Uh, can I... Okay, so that will hold that open. The streams are currently being crossed. I probably should have thought this through a little bit. Instead, I kind of went for the strategy of wing it It'll work itself out. And it did not. Okay. I guess I'll need to think about this for a second here. Because if I use... So I need, I need the opening position to be something like this, where I do hold this door open. I then will take a Shadow Realm Connecty. And uh, I think I'll have, like, what, three Connecties? So I'll be able to do a Connecty here. Wait, am I able to see it all from over here? So I can set up a Connecty here, another Connecty here. And then a third connecty can go, like, right there. And then blue connecty can just go right here, block that off, and then hold that up. Okay, okay. I got it figured out now. This is gonna be... This is gonna be... 
uh, a, a tin of beans. So we're gonna just set this up like so. So it's so the Shadow Realm Connecty is gonna start by having the blue laser already be doing what it needs to do. Um, let's do that. Okay, hang on. So we're gonna wanna take this, have it set up, and then we'll just take a recording. The very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Connecty move it out of the way for a second, which will allow me to open up this door. Now that I've done that, I take this connecty. I, uh, I guess I will set up something like this. And then I'll want to have one connecty that's right here that connects to that and then another connecty will want to be set up to go through that door so i'll want to take this so the issue is that this connecty is gonna oh well, well hold on hold on i can put the blue connecty in front of that and then use that to open up that door in the end so that should work out all right I think. So now I see my dumbass Shadow Realm self to uh, figure this all out. Turns out he's me, though, so this might take a second. Um, so if I just come over here, I just set this up to hold that door open. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I take this connecty. And then I set that up right here. No, no, move. I swear to God. Okay. I was going to be so freaking mad if I lost the puzzle because I parked my Shadow Realm version of myself in the perfect spot to obstruct everything. Ah, uh, good thing that didn't happen. I can just be mad about other inconsequential things in my life. Like, my huge headache that I have right now. <laughs>